Here's an interesting pi conundrum. Start with a semicircle with radius 1 so that it has a circumference of pi. Now we can draw two semicircles inside. Each has a radius of a half, so has a circumference of pi over 2, for a combined length of pi again. Now draw two semicircles in each of those semicircles, so that each has a radius of 1 fourth and a circumference of pi over 4 for a combined total length of pi again. We can continue this process over and over again. Each time we double the number of semicircles, but we have the radius. This means that the total combined lengths of their circumferences will always remain pi. As we keep doing this, we see that the semicircles squash down and flatten to almost match the diameter of the original semicircle. Does that mean that the length of the diameter of the original semicircle is actually equal to pi when we consider the limiting process? Is pi equal to 2? Of course pi isn't equal to 2, but can you see where this argument fails?